Hello, good morning. Ayun na. Start na tayo. Good morning sa lahat. This is Teacher Sepi again for the live session sa general education. Uh, I've just decided na English muna at saka science today. Kasi uh, yung math, kailangan ko sinang whiteboard. And sorry sa so sobrang pagmamadali ko. Hindi ako nakapag-set up ng maigi. Ayun. Mm. So, ito na muna. Uh, we'll be doing science and English. Okay? Here we go. English muna tayo. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, please pa-share po ng video para mas ano, mas marami yung makapanood natin and marami tayong matutulungan. Pa-share po sa page, uh, I mean, sa page or, or sa review groups ng LET. Bago tayo mag-start. Siguro, I'm, uh, we're going to a lot 10 minutes for that. Uh, we're gonna start at 10.10. Para sa live sessions, uh, let's give time to others to share this video. Ayun. Checking my materials. Okay. Ayun. So, ayun na. Good morning everyone. Teacher Sepi ulito. I'll be doing... <coughs> Sorry. I'll be doing proof ed uh, live sessions soon. Uh, Iyan ko lang si singit sa sked ko. Ayun. So, English tayo ngayon in science. Please do share this video or uh, this live session para mas marami yung makapag ano, uh, ma help natin sa live session na to. Thank you so much. Uh, andito ngayon. Uh, I hope this one... Ah, really. Uh, I'm really, really, really saying this. This would really help you a lot uh, on your tests. Ayun. So, mag-start tayo ng 10.10. It's 10.06. Para sa so sharing muna. <laughs> share, share tayo. Share, share tayo. Para matulong, makatulong din sa iba. Hi po, uh, Sir Lemar Seralde. Yeah, welcome sir. <clears throat> no problem po. This is for free. Sa ano pala, <clears throat> February 28 to March 1, I'll be in Sambuanga. Uh, I'll be doing final coaching for civil service exam sa Coast Pro uh, Review Center. Sa Sambuanga po yan. And then, siguro, uh, hopefully, sa Tacloban din meron. Uh, I'm not yet sure sa Tacloban. Pero yung sa Sambuanga, sure na po. And we will be doing, yes po, Sir Regs Regs. Good morning din po. <coughs> Ayun. So, we still have 3 minutes para may share tong video na to. We're gonna start at 10. .10. It's 10.07. Good morning sa lahat. Good morning. Ma'am Nori Jean Rosilio, good morning din po. Thanks for being here. Good morning, Ma'am Georgia uh, Gabriel Mazon, Sauro, and Ma'am Rosaline De La Cruz, uh, Kapinpin. Yes, welcome po. And Sir Ronald Zoland Dalid, Ma'am Janice Inerio Gomez, and... Ma'am Nor I am Anudin, Ma'am Rich Alisbo. Good morning po sa inyong lahat. Good morning po. Sa lahat ng nanonood, good morning po. And we still have 2 minutes remaining for the sharing of this video and then we're gonna start the session na. Hi po Ma'am Maribic de Ocampo. Good morning. Uh, Cheng Chang Wook. Good morning din po, uh, Christian Ray de los Reyes and Mary Jane uh, Achas. Good morning! Sambunga City, meron po ba? Meron po, uh, the, I don't know where in Sambunga. I think it's in Pagadian, sir. Hello po, good morning, good morning, good morning! Good morning po sa lahat ng nag -greet. Good morning po. <laughs> Ang dami po. <laughs> sunod, sunod. Anyway, good morning. We still have 2 minutes. Ah, yung mga nangihingi ng top buds pala, ay top fan budge, 
uh, hindi po ako nagde-determine noon, si Facebook po ang nagde-determine kasi ang binabasihan po ni Facebook noon uh, na bibigyan kayo ng top fan badge is yung lagi niyong i-share yung i-share yung yung mga post ko. Uh, lagi kayong nagda-like, nag-i-engage kayo sa mga post ko. Ganon po yung basihan ni Facebook. Si Facebook po nag nagbibigay ng top fan badge po. Hindi po ako, hindi po yung may-ari ng page. Sila po yung nag-determine nag nun. Kaya, uh, ayun. So kung gusto nyo magkaroon ng top fan badge, uh, share-share nyo lang, like-like nyo lang yung mga post ko. Yung videos, yung mga ano uh, iba pang notes, ganon. Hello po sa lahat. Thank you for sharing your knowledge. Ay, you're welcome po. No problem po 'yan. Para po para po sa uh, gustong maging guro. Kasi I'm an advocate of uh, helping the teachers to get their license is also one of the ways for me to help the children to learn in the future. Kasi pag nagkaroon na kayo ng license, I know Uh, you will be one of those great molders of the uh, children's future. Kaya ganun. Kaya ako tumutulong din. Okay, so it's 10-10 na. Let's start. Uh, salamat po sa andito ngayon. Oh! Sir Ven Romeral. Kamag-anak po yata tayo. <laughs> I'm Sir Priano Romeral. And uh, my uh, Roots is from Baay City, Negros Oriental. Okay, so let's start. Salamat sa andito. English tayo, English. Uh, I saw, number one, I saw Lisa at the station when I was going to work this morning, but she blanked me. Okay? Choices, didn't see, don't see, letter B, and letter C, hasn't seen, and letter D, didn't saw. Okay? Hello po, good morning. Oh my God! Ma'am Ella May Cariaso Barsena. Yes po, I'm a, a product of Notre Dame of Midsayap College in Midsayap, North Cotabato. Good morning po! Okay, I saw Lisa at the station when I was going to work this morning, but she blanked me. Okay, so uh, as, as you can see here, the tense of the verb is in the past. So the choices... The choices are didn't see, letter B don't see, letter C hasn't seen, and letter D didn't saw. Uh, most, isa lang po yung tama dito. Okay, anyway, uh, letter A is the, the correct answer, didn't see me, but she didn't see me. Because uh, y yung, yung tense ng verb, so the first part is saw, and that's, so it must also goes with the past form, that's parallelism. Okay, so the answer is didn't see. Why not don't see? Of course, it's present form. And letter C hasn't seen. This is present perfect. And present perfect are used with uh, actions that happened in the past and until now. Or the result is until now. Okay? So, ganun siya. And letter D, didn't saw. This is uh, a, a, an in incorrect format. Kasi didn't. If we use do, did, done. Or do, did, does. I'm sorry. We always uh, have to pair it with the base form of the verb or the infinitive form. Okay? So, ganun siya. Ah, just tell me if sobrang bilis. Kasi nasanay ako sa professor ko dati sa mathematics, sobrang bilis niya magturo. Okay, na-imbibe ko yung ano na yun. Anyway, number two, my friend blank for me when I arrived. Okay, so when I arrived, uh, this type of clauses, as you can see, when I arrived, tingnan nyo yung dalawang actions. Yung pinakamahabang action... Uh, yun yung magtitake ng ing form and yung pinaka shorter yun yung magtitake ng past form like here my friend blank for me when I arrive so when I arrive this is the shorter uh, action than the 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 what the what her friend or his friend did okay so when I arrive this is the shorter action and the other one was the longer uh, uh, is actually the longer action okay so it says the choices was waiting And letter B has been waiting, and letter C has waited, and uh, letter D waited. Of course, letter D here is wrong because this is uh, a past form, and the, the, the other clause, the win clause, is already in the past form. So, as I told you, uh, pag may win clause tayo, or while clause, 
uh, yung close na yun magte-take ng past form and the other one the, will take the higher, I mean the longer action and that will take the ing form. And here we only have A and B with the ing form but letter B has been waiting is not suitable for this because has been waiting is a present perfect progressive and there must be an action there must be an action done before this action happen ganun po siya so here is was waiting for uh this is like the answer is was waiting because this is in the continuous form i ah, remember that uh, when clause or the while clause uh will take the past form and the the uh the other clause will take the continuous form and the answer here is letter a which is was waiting and that's continuous when it's a continuous form was and were for past continuous form was and were plus ing and uh, for the present uh, continuous it's am um, is are plus ing form of the verb okay so there you go number three where's jendi blank a shower at the moment okay so remember uh, present continuous for uh, present continuous form always take uh, always have this uh, words at the moment or now okay so present continuous lagi yung tandaan yun at the moment or now or at the time of speaking the action is happening okay hello po good morning sa lahat good morning po sa lahat anyway so number one choice or letter a is he is taking letter b is he have letter c he has or letter d he had had uh, he has had of course i told you Continuous form sila, uh, siya, so it must be with ing form, and that uh, that means the answer here is letter A. Living example of good heart. Oh my God, sir! Thank you so much. Okay, anyway, so he is taking a shower at the moment. So this is a a, a continuous form. Letter uh, number four, we have Linda is from the Davao. She blank there all her life. Okay, there you go. The choices. A is living. B has lived. And letter C lives. And letter D lived. Okay. So, ayun. Uh, ito siya. This calls for a, a, a present uh, perfect tense. Okay? Present perfect tense. Bakit? Kasi yung indication niya, all her life. That means from the time she was born until now. Okay? So, the action is like from the time she was born until now so it says linda is from the vow she has lived there all her life yung yung phrase na yan all her life tells the action from the time she was born until now okay so here it takes the uh present perfect tense okay um meron pala akong book na ginagamit sa grammar and this is really very comprehensive because it was published by Cambridge University and that's really very comprehensive grammar uh, process uh, they, they the, I mean the book presents uh, very comprehensive uh, grammar rules and stuff like that so masyado siyang uh, detailed so may intindihan nyo talaga ayun kaso sobrang laki kaya hindi na mahirap siya isend sa email pdf file siya anyway next Martin is English but he lives in France Blank three years. Okay. So, yung preposition dito, pag uh, andun yung total na uh, time, yung preposition natin, it's either in or for. Okay? In or for. Like, she has lived there for three years. Or she has lived there in three years. So, yung yung indication, uh, yung prepositions na yun, uh, will always indicate like the total time. Okay? So, three years here. So, the answers would be between... Uh, would be either for or in okay so letter a for letter b at letter c during and letter d on okay so for time for here for the total time at is for the exact i mean like the 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 time like exact time like at seven o'clock at three o'clock like that on is for days and dates remember that on is for days and dates like on february 10 2011 or on Monday, on Tuesday, like that. Okay? So, remember those prepositions of time. Number six. Number six. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, what is the largest river blank the Philippines? Okay. Um, of course, this is place and it calls for the location. Preposition of location and 
preposition of location in on at usage uh, at is used for a specific point like shall we say at the corner at the center at the middle at the hotel at the airport at the station okay or, or at the bus station ganun siya for preposition of location at but on is used with address of the houses like uh, at then i'm sorry pag may number ng house like shall we say uh, she lives at number 25 Boromeo Street ganun so at is also used there pag may number ng house okay ng address pero pag street lang like shall we say uh, Lisa lives on Boromeo Street okay or Boromeo Boulevard or Boromeo Avenue okay street avenues and uh, what is this road and stuff like that you always have to use on okay so preposition of place naman like cities or countries like that we always use in okay so shall we say what is the largest river in the philippines okay philippines is a country here next number okay uh we arrived the blank the hotel after midnight so here as a specific point of course i told you uh preposition of place and that's at okay so here letter uh, choices at in on to okay so we say we arrive at the hotel after midnight okay now next number we are where's mike he is blank holiday so we say here he is blank holiday um there are specific um actions where we always use on like on vacation on holiday like that okay so we use here a uh, preposition of time on okay there you go next tom hasn't got up yet he's still what do you think okay so preposition of location again bug the surfaces or a specific point like uh door so we say at the door and on the table, on the wall, on the ceiling, on the floor, like that. Okay, so for surfaces, uh, play, uh, plain surfaces, we use on for that, okay? Uh, hi, hello, good morning po. Good morning sa lahat. And sa mga nag-read, ko na po isa-isahin kasi nag-start na po tayo. Good morning po sa lahat. Ayun, saan ba tayo? So, yung on is used with a preposition of, uh, up, up. it's a preposition used with like surfaces pag sa, sa location. Like, on the wall, on the ceiling, okay? Um, in naman, pag yung structure, uh, box-like siya. Like, shall I say, in the living room, in the kitchen, in the room, okay? In the hall, ganun siya. Okay? So, ayun. And here, ah, mayroon tayong ano, uh, a little bit confu con confusing situation. Like, shall I say, um, puro, pariho silang tama. On the door and at the door. So, what's the difference? When I say at the door, someone is at the door. Okay? So, directly in front of the door. Okay? But, when I say on the door, that means something is on the surface of the door. Okay? So, let's, shall I say, the, 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 the house number is on the door, not at the door. Because, nakadikit siya dun sa surface ng door. Okay? Ganun siya. But, if someone is at the door, that means there. He is there. Okay? In front of the door. Ganun siya yung situation dun. So, here... He's still in bed. Linda is away. She's been away. Oh. Meron tayong uh, usage ng for and since. Okay? For and uh, for since and ago. Okay? So, for is uh, for and since are both used with the present perfect tenses. Okay? And this, uh, they talk about time. Whereas, ago is used with... Uh, past form of the verb like uh, she lived there three years ago okay so yung tense natin ng verb there is lived and that's past tense so we have to use ago okay but here pag present perfect tense we use for and since now mayroon din differences kung paano sila ginagamit for is used with uh, the total time as I've mentioned earlier like for three years for ten years okay and since is used with the start of the time okay shall we say uh today is wednesday and uh, i was on vacation since monday so the start of the time was monday so we say uh teacher seppi has been on vacation since monday because that's the start of my vacation 
But since uh, from Monday until now, it's three days na. So you would say, Teacher Seppi has been on vacation for three days. Okay? So total time, three days. So we have to use four. Okay? So ayun. Present perfect has been. Okay? Remember that. Use four and since with present perfect tenses. Use for with the total time and use since for the start of the time. And while ago is used with the past form of the verb. Okay? So, as I've discussed earlier. Ayun. So, next one. Okay. The next meeting. The next meeting is blank. 15 April. Okay? So, you would say, since this one is a date... So, you would use on for this, okay? So, we say, the next meeting is on 5th, uh, 15th of April, okay? There we go. Next one, we have... Oh. Oh, ito yung sinasabi ko sa inyo. Kevin has lived... Okay, this is um, present perfect. Kevin has lived... Okay, has plus PP or have plus PP. PP there is referred to as past participle. Okay. Um, past participle, like shall we say, uh, drink, drank, drunk. Drunk there is the past participle. Remember that? Okay, here. Kevin has lived in Baguio, blank, six months. Uh, six months is a period, total period of time. So you have to use for here, okay? Not since. So Kevin has lived in Baguio. For six months. The choices by, since, at, or for. So the answer is letter D. Next one. Were there a lot of people? Blank party. Okay, so a specific place, you would say use at. Ayun. Good morning, everyone. Dami na comments. Hindi ko po may isa Sorry, good morning. Anyway, so it's at the party. Specific place, party. So at. What are you doing? Blank the moment, of course. Are you writing? So, I, as I've told you, uh, present continuous, am um, is are plus ing, what are you doing? And then, it is always indicated by the expression at the moment or now. So here, at the moment, at. So what are you doing? Blank the moment. So at the moment. I'm sorry. Next one, we have The train was very slow. It stopped blank every station. So, as I've said earlier, at the station, at the airport, like that. Okay? So, we say, it stopped at every station. The choices are with, at, in, by. So, the answer is letter B. Next. I like this room. I like the pictures blank the walls. Okay, so wall. So it's a surface. So you have to use on for this. So you would say, I like this room. I like the pictures on the walls. Okay, not in the walls or at the walls. Okay, it's on the walls. It's surface. The choices, by, off, in, and on. So the answer is letter D. Oh, thank you so much po. God bless din po. And good morning everybody. Hello po. Uh, I'll be back blank Thursday Oh, again, preposition By, for, in, on So this Thursday is a day Okay, so you have to use on for this Remember what I've said earlier uh, Okay, so Pili-pili tayo ng medyo ano Okay, so ito Who was uh, <clears throat> blank president of blank United States? So here, the choices, the, uh, uh, a, letter B, a and the, letter C, the and the, or letter D, a and a. So, articles, usage of articles, okay, articles or adjectives, usage of articles, when you're going to use a or an, a is used with the, of course, a, a word or a noun that starts with a consonant. Whereas an is used with uh, a noun that starts with a vowel. But there is, uh, what's this, an exception, ex exempt, exception to the rule. Like, so let's say, she 
is a, a European. Why we don't use an? Because European starts with letter E. But take note that European, the first syllable, syllable sound starts with letter Y. Okay, that's why we use A for that. Same as um, she is studying at the at a university in the United States. A university, not. A, uh, an university because university the first sound there uh, first uh, sound of the first syllable starts with letter y so we have to use uh, an article a for uh, a there okay those are just like so let's say also another one is like uh, i'll be there in an hour not a uh, 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 hour right because young sound starts with a vowel sound hour not h sound silent h ganun siya okay yun yung exception to the rule now when to use a an a or an and the use a or an if you are not i mean uh, i mean you are not sure which is which okay shall i say uh there are lots of banks in the city and you would say uh is there a bank near here so that means you're referring to one of the banks in the city okay so there are lots of banks and then you're just referring one of them but if you are going to say, is there the bank near here? That means the city has only bank and you are referring to that. That means the article the is used when uh, the noun is specific or only one in the city. Like another one, close the window and close a window. The difference, close the window, that means there is only one window you're referring to in the room. There is only one window and then you're referring to that. But you would say, close a window. So there are lots of windows in the room and then you're just asking him or her to close one of them. Okay? So ganun yung difference ng a and the or articles. Definite and indefinite articles. Definite article is the the and indefinite articles is or are a and an. Now, uh, going back to the question, who was blank first president of blank the United States? I mean, United States. Okay. Yeah, and, uh, choices, the and a, and then letter B, a and the, letter C is the and the, and letter D, a and a. Now, uh, the answer here is um, letter C. When you are going to, to, to have this ordinal numbers, like 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, we have to use the for that, okay? So, the first president, the second floor, okay, on the second floor, like that. Now, Use of the for places also. The is used with um, names of countries that has the word state, uh, kingdom, republic, what more? And the, the, the name of the country ends with letter S, okay? Example, the United States, okay? Why, uh, United, uh, why the United States? Because the name itself has the word state, okay? And the United Kingdom, because the name of the country there has the word kingdom, so you have to use the for that. Uh, another one, kingdom and republic. So you would say the Republic of the Philippines, the Republic of Korea, right? The word republic there means you have to use the for that. Another one, if the name of the country has S at the last. Like, for example, we say the Philippines, the Bahamas, the Netherlands, right? So, yung name na yun, yung countries na yun, laging magbibear na the article the, okay? So, another one, like the Cayman Islands, okay? The Cayman Islands, the state of Ohio. See? Yung, yung apat na yun, pag name ng country or, or, or a place has the word state, kingdom, republic, and if the name of the country ends with S, okay? You have to use the for that, article the. Okay, so the answer here is letter D. So it says, who is the first president of the United States? Okay? Ganun siya. So I hope it helped you a lot uh, about the articles. Uh, after dinner, uh, after blank dinner, we watch uh, blank television. I'm sorry. After blank dinner, we watch blank television. Okay, so here... Choices, letter A, the and the, letter B, A and A, letter C, the and A, and letter D, none of the above. The answer here is none of the above because 
for meals like breakfast, lunch, dinner, we don't use the for that, okay? So we say after dinner, so wala siyang article dapat, we watch television. Okay, we watch television, not a television. Now, no article for that. Okay, we watch television. That means you're referring to the show itself. Okay, so ganun siya. Walang articles. Uh, I'll be posting those uh, words or phrases na hindi nagbe-bear ng articles. Uh, andun yun dun sa grammar book na ginagamit ko. And then, the usage of the, or the articles, uh, definite and indefinite articles. I'll be posting that. Okay. Okay, ito yung sinasabi ko sa inyo. My apartment is blank, second floor. So, second, first, second, third, fourth, uh, we have to use article da. Okay, so, my apartment is on blank, second floor. So, it's on the second floor. Choices A, letter B, and letter C, the letter D, none of the above. So, the answer is letter C. Okay, ito naman. Turn left at blank top of blank stairs, and it's on blank right. Okay. Turn left at blank top of blank stairs and it's on blank right. Okay. So, for areas like top, bottom, we use article da for that. Okay? Top, bottom, left, right. And then, <clears throat> stairs, the stairs, and it's on the right. Right, left, we also use article da for that. Okay? Right, left, top, bottom. Okay, so we say, uh, choices, da, da, a, or da, da, uh, da, a, a, and letter C, da, 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 or letter D, none of the above. So the answer is letter C. So we say, turn left at the top of the stairs and it's on the right. Okay, next number. Last one. Everest is blank highest mountain in blank world. Okay, so we use the for world, sky, what more? Names of the river. Okay, so we use the also for that. So, and the, the, the superlative form of adjectives, we always use the for them. Like the best, the highest, the tallest. Okay, so we use the for them. So we say there, Everest is the highest mountain in the world. Okay, so ganun siya. It's 10.36, so we're going to uh, have science na. Uh, I'll be going to have more live sessions soon, so just bear with me. Hanap muna ako ng materials ko sa science. Ayun. Science, all ecosystems take together make up a plant. Okay, so hierarchical organization, we have, it starts with cell, then followed by tissue, then followed by organ system, or the, I mean organ, I'm sorry, organ, and then followed by the system or organ system, and followed by the organism, and then population, and then community, and then ecosystem, and then the biosphere. Cell, of course, is the basic unit of life. Tissue are groups of cells that perform a specific function. And then uh, organ... Of course, group of tissues that performs specific function. Organ system, or group of organs that performs a specific function again. Organ system, example, uh, digestive system, circulatory system, skeletal system, what more? Uh, lymphatic system, integumentary system, or the endocrine system. Okay, so ganun siya. And after the system, group of systems that performs together, that forms the organism. Organism, example, plants, animals, us, humans, okay? And group of organisms, the same organisms of the, uh, organisms of the same species that is population, okay? Group of different populations uh, interacting together, that is, a, in, uh, uh, in a given place, is community. And then all of these communities, when they're interacting uh, each other, that forms the ecosystem. And then ecosystem, all, all of the ecosystems around the, the earth, that uh, forms the biosphere. Biosphere is the region of the atmosphere, or the, I mean, the, before the, what's that? Troposphere, next to biosphere. Anyway, biosphere is the region where living things are found. Okay, so ganun siya. Proof Ed, sir. Yes po, uh, I'll be doing Proof Ed. So, ganun lang muna. Singit, singit lang muna natin. Sino pong dun Donald? Sorry. <laughs> anyway, good morning. And again, so number one, all ecosystems take 
taken together make up a biosphere. Okay, so ganun siya. Choices, niche, biosphere, community, population, or habitat. Habitat is a, play, uh, is a place or area or region where organisms or population live. Okay? Okay, so here, which of the following sequence of organization is likely to be seen in a multicellular organism going from smallest to largest? Okay. We have two types of organism, basically uh, based on cell organizations. We have unicellular organisms, or, uh, these are organisms with, that live only as one cell, example, paramecium, flagella, dinoflagellates, what more? Ciliates. These are organisms that live in a uh, single cell and they are usually found in dirty waters, okay? Uh, what more? They have this, actually they have this what you call chloroplast because uh, they manufacture their own food also but they are not considered to be uh, plants. They have chloroplast that performs photosynthesis and this food that they make in their chloroplast is uh, was just used for their energy needs. They don't take in food. They just make their own food uh, in them, but they are living organisms, I mean animals, okay? Paramecians, dinoflagellates, like that. These are organisms that, that are considered to be unicellular. Thank you po. Welcome, sirs, ma'ams. Anyway, so yun, which of the following sequence of organisms? Ah, multicellular organisms, examples are us, okay? Humans, plants, animals, and other forms of organisms having more than one cell. Okay? Like us, we are we're made up of billions of cells. Okay? So, yun, which of the following sequence of organization is likely to be seen in multicellular organism going from the smallest to the largest? Okay, so here, letter A, cell, cell organ, tissue, organism. So, it's wrong because organ comes first uh, before tissue. So, it's wrong. And, oh, <laughs> thank you so much for... <laughs> And then letter B, cell or uh, cell organ system and tissue. This is also wrong because tissue comes after the system. Uh, tissue must come after cell. In hierarchical organization as we mentioned kanina. Cell tissue organ organ system, uh, organism population community ecosystem and biosphere. Letter C, cell, cell tissue system organism. Yeah, this this one. The answer is letter C. Letter D, organism system. Oh no, it's not smallest, it's biggest to the smallest. Letter E, tissue, system, cell. Oh no, cell comes after the system, which is wrong. Okay, anyway. All individuals of a given species, given species, all individuals of a given species living in a defined area at a defined time are what? A, population, community, letter B, letter C is ecosystem, letter D is biosphere. Of course, individuals of a given species so that means there is just one type of individual and that's population like human population ant population snake population okay so same species group of the same species all members of one species form a again population all members of one species that's population uh watching you dami ko natutunan pati anak ko nakakapanood thank you so much wow thank you so much po thank you so much thank you so much po it's uh, really, really, what's this? Sobrang sarap ng pakiramdam na nakakatulong ka in a way na, in this, this simple way, nakakatulong ka. Uh, not just those people who are taking the let, but also the other uh, people like students. Thank you so much po, ma'am. Uh, Marnely de Villena, si Bayan. Okay, next number. All populations in one natural setting plus their physical environment. Okay, so sinabi ko kanina, lahat ng population na nag-interact together uh, in a given area or, 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 or a region is community. Okay, choice. Okay, all populations in one natural setting plus their physical environment or the uh, constitutes or makes up what? A biosphere, physical uh, ecosystem, letter C, population, letter D, community, and letter E, country. Of course, it's community. Ah! Yung uh, may mga nagtatanong sa akin about uh, ano po bang dapat? Actually, there are only four choices in the uh, on the tests. Okay? And then, pag wala dun sa choices yung sagot, ang isa sagot mo is letter E. Okay? Uh, isa tong tips. Uh, minsan, kaya, kaya kailangan ano, kaya, kaya kailangan alamin nyo yung concept. Alamin nyo yung concept kasi 
uh, pag alam niyo yung concept, kahit balibalik ta rin, kahit iliko-liko pa yung question, alam niyo yung sagot. Um, marami po kasi nagtatanong sa akin at nanghihingi ng reviewers or like nagtatanong, like, Teacher Zepi, yung mga materials niyo po ba lalabas po yan sa exam? Um, the purpose of review is for you to be uh, refreshed and uh, equipped with basic concepts. Hindi siya, kung ano yung i-review mo, yun yung lalabas sa test. Kasi, like me, I'm a coach and then I conduct review. I'm teaching you the concept. I'm not teaching you the answer. I mean, like the answer to the question. Because, uh, ito yung purpose ng review. Pag nakakita ka ng ganitong question sa concept na to, ito yung dapat na sagot. Hindi yung, ito yung question, ito yung sagot, ito yung lalabas sa tests, sa, 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 uh, sa PRC. Amen. Uh, Meron din kasing nagtatanong na ganyan. Pag ganun po, sobrang mahirapan kayo pag ganun yung mind setting nyo. Kasi, uh, paano na lang pag naiba yung question? Paano na lang pag naiba yung presentation ng question? At saka yung, uh, yung choices andun, pero yung presentation ng question different. So, kaya mas maigi pag nag ka, pag nag-review ka, refresh yourself with the concept. Uh, understand the concept deeply. Not just memorizing the concept. Okay, understanding it is be better. Memorizing is, uh, I mean, like, familiarizing the concept is better than memorizing the concept. Kasi in familiarizing, it will last longer. Where, while memorizing the concept, it will just, like, you know, after three months, 80% of what you have memorized is gone. And then, 20% is left. And 80% of that 20% left will also be gone after three, uh, after three months again. So that's, like, in six months' time, wala na, sobrang uh, mawala na yung concept na memorize mo. Yun yung lagi kong inaano sa mga sudyante ko, uh, during tests, I teach them, parang follow up dun sa mga concepts. I let them understand the concept deeply. Kasi, pag dating sa test, hindi mo alam kung ano yung lalabas. Or, same concept, yung question, yung question yun yung sagot, pero, yung presentation ng, con ng, 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 ng question sa concept is different. So, ganun siya dapat. So, uh, lagi niyong tandaan, familiarization is really different. I mean, I mean, way, way better than memorizing the concept. Okay? So, ganun siya dapat. Pag nag-review kayo, uh, wag lang kayo mag-depend dun sa answer key. Try to conduct research po. Uh, uh, I mean, like, invest lang po tayo konti dun sa data. Kung uh, hirapan, teacher, sabi, mahirap yung internet sa amin, gito, ganyan, blah, blah, kasi wala kaming, ano, walang signal, gito, ganyan. Uh, siguro may mga, ano naman, mga, mga, Uh, promos naman yung mga providers yung internet providers natin uh, invest lang tayo hanggang dun sa test para uh, kasi ang, ang, ang ano dito is yung future mo eh yung pagpasa mo ng let ganun po dapat I mean you have to conduct research also kung ito ba talaga yung sagot kung yung mga nakukuha yung reviewers dun online kasi yung iba kasi yung mga questions doon iba-iba yung sagot I mean mali yung mga sagot so you have to conduct your own research uh on the concept. Okay? So, ganun po dapat uh, familiarization ng concept. Okay? I'm sorry, nag yaw na si Seppi, Teacher Seppi. Wait, hanap pa tayo ng ibang materials kasi parang pareho lang yung concept. Hanap lang ako materials, ha? Okay. <clears throat> Ito. To enter or leave a cell, substances must pass through A. Microtubule Letter B. The Golgi apparatus Letter C. Ribosome Letter D. The nucleus Or letter E. The plasma membrane So, ayun. So, these are cell organelles. Cell organelles. To enter, the, uh, to enter or leave a cell, substances must pass through A. Microtubule B. Golgi apparatus Letter C. Ribosomes Letter D. Nucleus And letter E. The plasma membrane So, uh, what controls what controls uh, things or substances that comes in and out of the cell? They are considered to be considered to be the guard of the cell. Okay? So, discuss ko konti yung mga organelles ng cell. Sa cell, meron tayong maraming organelles. First is the cell membrane. Cell membrane is the guard of the cell. And they controls what comes in and comes out of the cell. Okay? So, yung mga substances na hindi kailangan ni cells, 
hindi nila pinapapasok yun. And then, do, yung mga substances din na lalabas sa cell, like proteins and stuff like that, pinapalabas nila yun. So, what controls uh, the substances that come come out and in out of the cell, I'm sorry, is the plasma membrane or the cell membrane. Next one. Oh, we have three types of cell membrane. We have permeable membrane. That means allows everything to get, to get inside and to get out of the cell. And semi-permeable membrane, hindi lahat pinapapasok. And then, non-permeable membrane, like para mission na mentioned ko kanina, non-permeable membranes are membranes that do not allow anything to come in and out of the cell. Ang example niyan is yung the paramecium, dinoflagellates, ciliates, dun sa, yung sinasabi ko sa inyong nag-perform sila ng, uh, may sarili silang chloroplast, although animals sila, they're considered to be animals. Ganun siya. So, ayun. So, here is plasma membrane, the answer. Ano si nucleus? Nucleus is the brain of the cell. This is the funded name of nucleus, the brain of the cell. And this controls cellular activities. Okay? Lahat ng activities ng organelles, the, the nucleus controls it. And also, the nucleus is the carrier of the DNA, or the dioxyribonucleic acid, or the uh, instructions of uh, the proteins that are being used by our body. Okay? Instructions. Uh, and don't see si, si DNA makikita natin si chromosome si chromosome makikita yan sa uh, nucleus natin and in the DNA we inside the DNA we have uh, the genes okay genes genes are the traits like for example color of the hair size of the eyes uh, what says the nose color of the skin what more the other gen, uh, what says genetic characteristics the height ganun so ganun si genes in in the genes we have uh, genes are composed of two things and those are alleles okay alleles they can be like dominant or recessive allele okay so allele like for example homologous uh, short allele so small cap uh, two small letter s okay so dalawang allele yun the laging dalawang allele yung genes uh, may minsan may parihong short lang siya minsan parihong tall siya pare minsan uh, tall at saka short siya okay so mayroon din tayong tinatawag na genotype and phenotype Genotype, ayun yung genetic makeup. Ano yung composition niya? Like, shall I say, lahat ng genes niya dun sa, sa height are short. So, that means two, capital, uh, two small letter S. Pag lahat ng genes, uh, ng alleles niya dun sa, uh, sa height na gene are all dominant or tall. So, that means two capital letter S. Pag ano naman, yun yung genet uh, genotype. Pag carrier siya ng recessive gene like shall I say tall, uh, small uh, capital letter T and small letter uh, capital letter S and small letter S tall and short dalawa yung uh, kinikerry niyang traits uh, ang ano to yun yung gen genotype niya capital letter S and small letter S okay yung phenotype naman kung ano yung makikita mo physically dominant or recessive when you say dominant yun yung pinakamalakas na, na gene like shall I say height pag yung tallness is 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 dominant over uh, over shortness so ganun siya okay physical halimbawa paano natin malalaman yun lahat ng may capital letters dominant yun kahit dalawang uh, kahit isang capital at saka small letter uh, dominant doon pa rin yung malaki so makikita mo pa rin halimbawa tall capital letter s small letter s uh, dominant pa rin yung tall so tall pa rin siya pero carrier siya ng weak trait na short okay ganun siya Pag tall naman na uh, homologous, that means two, two capital letter S. Ganun siya. I'll be going to discuss that one uh, in ge the genetics, uh, which is I love the most. Genetics in the different video. Para mas maintindihan yung deeper, deeper discussion natin. Okay, so ayun na siya. Ribosome naman, this is the site of protein synthesis. Lahat ng proteins na kinakain natin, um pinuputol-putol yan siya into simpler uh, blocks of amino acids. Yung protein kasi natin, yung building blocks niya, what makes the protein are the amino acids. And we have 20, other books say, other books say 20 types uh, of amino acids. Others, uh, other books say 21 types of amino acids. Okay. So, these amino acids are formed together, are linked together to form peptides. And then, these peptides are formed together and linked together, I'm sorry, to form polypeptides. And these polypeptides are what we call uh, the proteins na. Okay? So, paano siya, bakit si ribosome dun sa cell nag, nag, nag synthesize or ginagawa, binibuild niya yung protein? Kasi, yung protein na kinakain natin, like, shall I say, from the meat or fish, ganun, or from the beans or legumes, 
bago yan siya papasok dun sa cell, bago yan siya i-absorb ng small intestine natin dun sa microvilli, kinakat yan siya into sim- simple amino acids. Amino acid lang simple. Kasi, yung ano natin, pag sobrang haba niya, yung buong protein, hindi yan makakapasok sa cell. Parang ikaw, pakakainin ka ng sobrang daming, sobrang habang pagkain, hindi mo kayang lunokin yon So, kailangan dahan-dahan pa unti-unti. Ganon din si cells. Okay? Putulin yung yung proteins natin into simple amino acids and yung amino acids papasok isa-isa dun sa cell and then these ribosomes uh, these ribosomes are going to build this uh, amino acids up again into proteins ganun siya okay so pati yung sugar natin pati yung carbohydrates sobrang haba ni starch putulin siya isa-isa into simple sugars and that's glucose and then glucose uh, molecules are going to get inside of the cell one by one and sa loob doon na siya i-rebuild ulit okay or use in cellular resp- respiration sa mitochondria okay so ganun siya and what's golgi apparatus this is the packaging site of the cell packaging site that means it packs all the proteins done or made by uh, ribosomes and transported by the um, endoplasmic reticulum to the golgi apparatus or other books Other names for Golgi apparatus is Golgi bodies. Okay, so the answer here is plasma membrane or the cell membrane. To enter or leave a cell, substance must pass through plasma membrane or cell membrane. Next, you expect a cell with an extensive mitochondria to... Okay, so mitochondria, this is the site of the cellular respiration. When I say cellular respiration, uh, when I say cellular respiration, this is the use of Uh, the sugar, the glucose from the food that we are taking in plus the, the oxygen that we also inhale uh, to make to make the carbon dioxide that we exhale, water and that for uh, that is in the form of urine or sweat plus the energy that we use in movement okay that energy is called the ATP or adenosine tri- triphosphate and this ATP is used by our body can you imagine one cell uh, one mitochondria one process of cellular respiration produces two ATPs and then in just one movement we use a lot of ATPs can you imagine how many cells are making or building this or making this energy for us Ganun siya, ka, ganun siya ka amazing yung body natin yung cells pa lang sobrang laki na ng ginagawa niya so cellular respiration is taking place in mitochondria so the question here you would expect a cell with an extensive mitochondria to A. make a lot of ATPs or adenosine triphosphate or the energy that we use secrete a lot of material letter C. move actively letter D. performs photosynthesis Let us see, store, uh, store large quantities of food. Okay, cells are not storage. Okay, F- uh, cells are not food storage. Our food storage inside the body is just the stomachs, anyway. Or the stomach. Or the digestive system uh, process our food. Uh, cells are not uh, storage of food. So, letter E is already wrong. Letter D performs photosynthesis. Mitochondria do not perform photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is taking place in chloroplast, which is only... Uh, chloroplast and organelle chloroplast which is only present in an uh, plant cells okay so doon siya nang na doon sa nagte-take place in photosynthesis so letter d is also wrong and uh you just a cell move actively it's not uh, it's the it can be like the organism move actively but not the cell because the question is asking us about the cell okay so letter c is also wrong and letter b secrete a lot of material oh no because um The, the 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 one that secretes a lot of material is the combination of the Golgi bodies or Golgi apparatus which packs the materials and then the cell membrane which uh, controls what comes in and out of the cell. Ganun siya. So letter A, the answer here. If a cell has a lot of mitochondria, that means the cell is making a lot of ATPs or adenosine triphosphate or the energy that we use. Sabi nila kasi sa elementary pa lang, kain na tayo ng kain ng uh, go foods kasi yun yung doon tayo kumukha ng energy and that's really very true kasi doon tayo kumukha ng glucose which is used in the production of ATP through the process of cellular respiration okay so ayun siya and it's almost 11 o'clock thank you so much for for um, being with me in this one hour live session with teacher Seppi And uh, I'll be going to conduct more live sessions soon. Uh, please keep 
posted na lang din i mean like updated with the, with the post that i i i <coughs> do on my page and proof ed will be the next session okay so and i hope everyone has learned a lot today uh in this live session we have and i am also asking everyone to please uh share the videos that i have on my page uh marami pong marami pong mga videos na pwedeng makatulong sa mga sa iba na may mga uh, may <clears throat> nahihirapan sa ibang concept so please do share i have a lot of videos actually so you can just like uh, visit my page and click the the button watch video uh, marami na po doon uh, sa videos uh, yung mga videos na yon uh, grammar what more sciences what more mathematics so mga basic lang siya so and uh, i know those videos uh will would be able to help you in your uh quest for getting that lpt uh badge on your name okay so i hope guys will see each other again on my next live sessions um sa gusto din pa lang makapanood mayroon din akong videos doon sa uh, channel ko sa youtube teacher sepi uh, check nyo lang Teacher Seppi Same as the spelling of the, uh, My name here on the page Teacher Seppi Sa YouTube Meron din ako maraming videos doon May mga videos ako sa Proof Ed Meron akong Gen Ed Saka ibang major Meron po doon So try to browse na lang sa YouTube Meron din uh, Find nyo lang Search nyo lang Teacher Seppi Lalabas na po yun doon Oh thank you so much Thank you so much One hour na pala Yes po One hour na Ang bilis lang ng oras ba? Ayun, thank you so much. Thank you so much. We love you, sir. Oh, thank you so much po. <clears throat> so, live session ulit. Sunod. And ha hope to see you guys. And by May pala, I'll be going to publish my own books na. I'll be the one publishing it. And uh, those books would be Professional Education, uh, General Education, uh, Math Major, Civil Service, and other major subjects. So, I hope support niyo ako doon guys sa quest ko na yun kasi uh, part of the proceeds or the profit of that uh, books, I'll be using it to uh, send students in Mindanao na makapag-school. So, so support natin yung mga uh, mga students na hirap na nahirapan pum mag, mag, makapag-aral doon sa Mindanao and uh, I would love to have them like elementary or high high school students sa Mindanao especially those in the remote areas and yeah I would also take this opportunity doon sa university ko sa college kasi they have made my organization the Young Educator Society which I founded when I was in third year college uh, it started only as like a group of us, like education students, and then we started teaching, what's that, uh, natives in the highlands of Mindanao, and now it's one of the uh, biggest organization, and then it's, I think, taken by my college as the, I uh, know, uh, wait, someone is here, and, uh, sorry, and, uh, Ayun, so nagtuturo kami and now it's na siya sa pinakamalaki and it is now considered as the uh, what's that? extension service ng college namin. Maraming salamat po. Uh, I hope support niyo ako sa support niyo ako sa uh, quest kong to. I will also help you guys to pass the let and just uh, keep updated of my post para sa uh, review sessions natin. Bye-bye. Good morning.